Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing two different horror games. Both of these horror games are based off of recent popular kind of analog horror game series, specifically the Mandela Catalog and the Back Rooms. And the first game we'll be playing is Assessment Examination, which is a horror game about assessing if these people are real. The examination will now begin. Hello, friend. Hi. Thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. All of us here at are very happy to have you. If you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Please take a sit and await further instructions. Okay. Um, what do you want to know about me? How did you hear about this position? Word of mouth, newspaper is a dream. Um, I'm gonna say a dream. Do you have any professional experience in this area? Yes, no? Nah. No, I'm a complete amateur. Yeah, you don't want to hire me. Just give me money to do nothing. Do you have any personal experience in this area? No. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you fear death? Are you actually gonna like, are these questions gonna matter? <laughs> no. They might, you never know. Do you fear God? No. It's like too much Final Fantasy, sorry. Do you have people you love in your life? Yes. Or no. Love my, uh, anime. Do you fear losing them? Oh, no, yeah. Um, the correct answer is 4D61793232. In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats you should stay away from. Please be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Okay. Hmm. Should I trust the guy looks like, uh... That one actor who played the uh, new Hannibal. Lecter, that is, not the general. Yeah, I trust you. You know, when an, when an uh, older person approaches me and their face is sinking into a spiral like they're on the wrong end of a Junji Ito novel, you're, and you ask me, like, do I trust them or they're a threat? Well... Eh, you know, I trust them. Maybe, maybe they're under attack and they need our help. We're gonna see if they don't hire me or not. I'm curious. I don't trust this person, or do I trust this person? They look too normal. Too normal. If they're gonna come at you, you know, it's gotta be like... They gotta, like, convince you, right? Who's talking? What's going on here? No, nah, I don't trust. Once again, they gotta look normal, they gotta fool you. What's this actually be the correct answer? Like, I'm on the right path of logic? I mean, your eyes are kinda... Yeah, I trust you. Just trying to be anime. Nope, this person looks too normal. And then this person has no facial features, and you're asking me if I see them as a threat or not. Maybe they just had an accident, right? Uh... Medication? Take three tablets by mouth. No, definitely can't trust. You look like you could be a video game player. I trust you. You just get hit by a ball in the face. I'm telling you, if I get this right... Police department, what's your emergency? Yeah, hi, I'm at Dory Park at a gas station, actually in the corner of Dory Park. I figured there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? 
I don't know, he looks fine. It's just, he's outside and the door is locked, so I can't tell. He's asking for help, though, so I don't know if you can hear, but... He's asking to help him. Don't help him! Don't help the kids! Kids never ask for help. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Wait, what? Well, I can unlock it for sure. I, I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But, and this is going to sound like crazy to you. Just as I was pulling up my keys, I saw it. His face, his face, you know. Yeah, this look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what. Something I'm terrified of. Fuck, I don't know why, man. man something, something's off with that kid, like, real off. You want to let this kid bleed out because he feels off. No, that's not what I'm saying. He, he, he's not dying. I don't, I don't think... He just didn't look right, is all. Like he just died himself. But he hasn't, obviously, like, like a ghost or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I, I've been drinking a little bit, but, but you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. Doesn't help that you're victim number two. Officer? He must be pale because of the blood loss. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight, not because of the... He drank one too many cheap beers. Is he still there? How does he look? That doesn't sound like a... Oh yeah, he's... I don't know, I'm like, crouching under the counter, so I can't even see what he's doing. It's fucking creepy. Are, are you... Did you call the right number? Hmm. Okay, well, the ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away, and that kid cannot be doing well. So you need to go assist him. Oh, fuck that. No fucking way. No, you didn't see that little fucker. He's not normal. You know, refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? You just want to eat my soul. Or... Their soul. Is... Is that what that is? Of course. Fuck, okay, I'll go check on him then. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll make an exception for this one. I don't think we can trust the kid. Yeah, no. Don't trust some kids. A wise man once said, who always also happened to be a basketball player, possibly named Michael Jordan. Don't trust some kids. Actually, he said something else, but still. Did you just, like, devolve into, like, a stick figure? Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on Mar Damn. Are we? I have no idea what's going on. Can't tell if we passed or if we're dead. She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open. And when she went into the room, she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today. And at other times I like being with grandmother so much. She called out, Good morning, but received no answer. So she went to the bed and drew back the curtains. There lay her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face, and looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my child, was the reply. But, grandmother, what big eyes you have, she um, said, red riding hood? all the better to see you with, my dear. But, grandmother, what large hands you have. All the better to hug you with. Oh. But, Grandmother. What a terrible big mouth you have. I like the, the, the vague connection with the, the big bad wolf and the alternates. That's a good way, like, way to, like, kind of loot how they work. I'm surrounded by nothing but lies. And sand. And suffering. 
I can hear him laughing in my... Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment Wait, what? examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into... You will receive a letter on March 8th at 9.37 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Yeah, so the developer said that there is going to be some kind of update coming on the March 8th. We'll see what that is later. Um, that's it for that game. On to the next one. So the next game we'll be playing is Lost Direction. Uh, and this game is inspired by the back rooms, and it kind of promises a immersive experience overall. And we are already in the rooms, it looks like, so let's go. Oh man, you hear that? It's always a little, it's already like a little interesting. They've, um... I guess we're holding a camera, and the wind is... We're moving, and we're moving faster. The mic is picking up the air from our movement. Well, it's real dark in here. I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> there we go. Got a flashlight. Even the way the flashlight moves is kind of like interesting. Was that? No, I, I was just seeing stuff. I thought I saw something. Hey. No. Okay. Let's go this way. I think this is procedurally generated. I don't see an end inside. It's like the wall's like glass. What's this? A door? Okay, sure. I thought I heard something. Let's go this way. As far as look and feel, like, the way they've used the filters and the sound, this is actually really good. Can't tell if I've looped on, or if things are just looping in general. Uh, I, I do believe, if you're wondering, I do believe you can die in this. I, I think there is a fret. But I think there's no guarantee we encounter it. So I'm just gonna kind of wander around. Soak in the atmosphere. There was a door here. It's gone now. Same with- Oh god! Oh, wait. Negative depth? Ah, oh, it's bright. Where, where am I? Lost direction. Did I die? Or is that- I don't know. Was this water? Oh god. Oh, I'm drowning! Negative death. I keep no clipping for the world, and I know that's appropriate.
But still, kind of confusing. Sometimes I feel like I hear something, but I'm not sure. Why is there a chair in the ceiling? Weird. Oh man, it's a dead end. Make a right. Uh, make a left. Never mind. Make a left left. Oh god. The lights go out around me? Oh god, it's dead in here too. It's not good. I don't even know if this game has an end state or if we just keep going till something actually gets us. And I'm pretty lost. Um, one of it they did do right. This is as far as like feel. In aesthetic, this is the most accurate back rooms game I've played so far. Uh, like I said, one thing they did get right is they got the the look and feels, like the sound, and they produce procedurally um, generated. I feel like that's pretty important. You can't have like a set room because then you you gain a sense of direction, and that defeats the point. I think of uh, what the the fear is. Share. What? I know I heard something for real this time. We good. We good. This way? The light. Ugh. No looking back. Is that what you kind of do? You just kind of wander into like... You see a light or a room? Let's hustle. This is gonna give people motion sickness. <laughs> it's giving me a little bit. Oh man. Okay, this way. This way. Where's that chair? Going down. The water. What? Ugh. Lost direction. Like, I can't tell, like... I really can't tell if we're making progress. Or if we're dying. Like, if you clip for the world, you die. The water is interesting. It's an interesting touch. I hope nothing's down here with me. There you go, something.
Good to see my splash is echoing. Let's go this way. Well, we lost. I mean, the whole point is you lost in the back rooms, quotation mark, but still. It's, it's an effective use of filters. Like, look at this area. This area's a little different, too. Am I clipping? No, it's just a wall. And there's like so many doors that just aren't doors. Yeah, I see more of that now. Back her up. Do I want to go down? Maybe not. Or maybe I do. Yep, clip for the world again. I don't understand the text. It's curious. I think I'll explore a little bit more. I don't think it's killed me yet. Like I said, I, I'm a harvest sure you can get killed in this game. But I'm, I'm, it has to, I think it has to be a very specific place. Oh! Chairs! Chairs! Chair? Chair? There's that pit again. I went down there before. I'm not doing that again. Chair? Get away. Chair. 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 More... More chairs! More chairs! There's chairs everywhere! Get out! The chairs are flying! Get out! The chairs! Oh god! The chairs are finally coming after me. I knew this day would come. God, they're flying! The chairs fly everywhere! Stop throwing the chairs! What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What did I do to deserve this? Cliff through? Uh, sure. I'm not sure I am. I'm really curious if the, uh, like I said, if the dev did program, you know, something living in here. Or if it's just like, you can enter the wrong area and just die. Or if I have been dying whenever I clip through. But there's the light. Yeah. I mean, we have seen some changes in the generation, but I don't know if that's like actually getting forward in the game, or it's just like, weird stuff happens and it's just completely random. Yeah, let's just go a touch more, and then I think I'm, I'm gonna call it because I have not encountered anything, and I can't tell if there's like an end state outside from like. Door? Every time I'm about to quit the game, I, hear, I see something or hear something new. I can say, it's, it's good in the atmosphere. I just wish we'd know, of like, is there an end state? Or is it just, like, a prototype? Hello? Got real dark. I hear atmospheric, like, noise. Is 
So I feel like I see something in the distance, but like there's nothing there. It's just my light. That's what I mean. Like it, it, it's creating the proper paranoia for how you should feel in the situation. But it's also like so vague that, is that water on the other side. We kind of blue walls before. That's new. Like, I would like to know if, like, there is an enemy. Uh, looking at the comments from the dev on the page, they do mention something about the water. So maybe there's an enemy in the water somewhere. But, like, I have, like I said, I have not encountered it. It's, it's primarily, like, atmosphere has been my enemy. Yeah, let's just run to the end. Sure. Guys, this goes on forever. Until it doesn't. Here's a white room. Let's see, if this takes us to the water, let's hang around the water. No, it didn't. Leave this well. Um, we have blood. And it could be through... It may be no clip for the world again. What is this? Or is it, like I said, it's curious, right? Treading deep. Because we're finding things, but like... It's so vague. That was, that was something completely new and it did something. It's just like we just saw the blood. It's like, how deep does the rabbit hole go? Uh, I, I, I'll say it's like an experiment. Like I said pretty good so far. There's also a possibility like sprinting is what triggers your death. Like making no... Why is there... Blood water under me now. What was that? It's just a chair, right? A water chair. A blood water chair. Get me out of here. Oh no. <laughs> I just don't come twice in a row. Okay, I I'm gonna call it there. Yeah, I I, I kind of said like just so playing like this is one of the better interpretations of the uh, the back rooms. If you had, there might be, maybe there is. I'm not sure if there is or if it's not. If you have the the monster, if you have the thing, if it hits you at the right time, it would be a great scare. But so far, unless it's like extremely rare, or if it's not there, there's like a bit of a lack of payoff for what is crafted pretty well for the atmosphere it should deliver. Uh, and the other game I played was, I didn't really commentate on that one too much yet, because I shifted over to this game. But the other game I played was the, basically that was the Mandela Catalog, and it was literally a Mandela Catalog tribute game. I have still not watched the Mandela Catalog, so I can't outright compare it or judge it against it. Uh, I did eventually finally watch the back room, so I'm able to like properly judge these games. That's why I'm saying like, ah, oh, this matches a little bit. But yeah, anyway, so thank you all for watching to play these two different analog horror games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.